following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market. Either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. This is a great card, folks. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. You're more powerful than you think, folks. That's the bottom line. Grab it and run with it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down one. NASDAQ is up 50. S&P is up 13 and a half. Gold contract flat, 17.53 an ounce. We got silver down 32 cents, $23.16 an ounce. Late sweet crude. Off 24 cents, $69, two cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down three ticks, 133.15. The 30-year off three ticks at 162.30 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 101 ticks, trading out here at 93.022. Euro is at 117. Yen is at 110.46. And the British pounds at 138 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? It's pretty wild, man. Bottom line, you know, you've been edging higher. Um, the SPY right now, the S&P is looking to break topside, man. Um, you got light volume, but, you know, last five days we edged higher. You're getting real price movement out here today. Well, yeah, you are. I mean, it's one, the 442 to 445, because what I'm benchmarking here actually is, is the first high, folks, is the 441. So right now you're at 444. If we take a look at the cash S&P, what you're going to look at is this, is that the cash S&P is doing the same thing, meaning you have $9.5. Uh, now, remember something, the cash S&P doesn't trade, okay? What's cool about looking at the cash S&P, however, is that the bottom line is that where that baby close, closes out or opens up, it's really important. And that is also trying to break out. Now, the NDX 100, and this is where there's divergence, but maybe there's not because of the aspect of um, how the Dow Industrials and the Diamonds have actually... The Diamonds, I'll do those in a second. The Diamonds are in an ABC structure on the way up. Well, here, let's do them right now so we can... Then, we'll, then I'll go to the NASDAQ. So the Diamonds are in an ABC structure on the way up. The bottom line is that uh, they are taken out a B point, took it out with volume, they want higher price. That being said, the indice itself is not in an ABC up because what ended up happening is that the indice didn't get enough volume, whereas the diamonds did. So you can say that, okay, how would you know which one to go with? Well, what happens is this, and this is where you got to put more than one thing together. So when you have divergence, meaning that you have the ETF for the indice, taken out a B point and taken out with volume. Then you have, and I'm putting this together with the Qs, and this is what, <laughs> when the, the, what the Qs have done here is that the Qs have rejected lower price out here today, man. There's no sellers. I mean, we went, we went down to 364. You, know, you have 20 million shares, so that's saying to me that, guess what, man, this thing's going to go for the highs again. So the high of 369.91 is game. That's how this baby is, sh is shaking out. Gold contract is building cause to basically repair the damage on the way down. Now, it's done very well. Um, the bottom line is that 
we came off those lows and we came off those lows nice. So it's not like you need a lot of um, pricing power inside the gold contract to get back inside the 17, uh, 50, 1772 rather. That's the number. And I suspect well, with the PP, I think the, I believe the PPI is coming out tomorrow morning at 830. That's where the action is going to be out here. Right now uh, we're at 1753. You hit 1759. 1772 is the number. If we go take a look at some of the gold equities, we'll start with the GDX. We have with the GDX out here. The GDX has, and this is a, this is a nice setup, okay? So what the GDX has done is this. So picture this. Yeah, two day, let's see, what, day, what Tuesday? Tuesday, we break lower. You break lower 23 million shares. We go higher yesterday with 22. Well, you're testing the lows of Tuesday with dramatically lighter volume, 12.4. That's what you like to see, folks, okay? That is the number of how you like to see a test. Uh, we got the 31.90. The low is 31.92. You're at 32.09 right now. Not bad. It would be really nice if uh, the baby closed out at like uh, 32.47, which is the high of today. But that's how that setup is. Notes and bonds, they, these the babies want higher price in a big way too, man. This is like pretty intense. Um, technically, what you have here is this. Technically, you have a down move, well, three ticks. You got 800,000 contracts, which is light contract volume. Uh, you're coming into, you know, yesterday we did a 1.3 million. Yeah, 1.7 million. Well, the 1.7 million was going into 2.3. So technically, the setup wants higher price. Fundamentally, uh, the bottom line, if, <laughs> I suspect if you're a fundamentalist, you it wants a lot higher price. If you just heard the update when I just did that, we had a non-direct bids inside of the treasuries, folks, of 77%. Now, you and I can do a non-direct bid. A, a non-direct bid is that you go to the treasury.gov, okay? You open up an account. You can bid on, on the treasuries also. It's very unusual, though. I, I believe the 77% is one of the biggest percentage ever that non-directs, okay, basically bid down the marketplace, okay? Uh, the 10 went three ticks. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot when you're talking about $50 billion or $100 billion in 10s. Um, went three ticks below what the 10 had been trading, okay? So that's telling you that the supply is low, the demand is much higher because most, well, almost all the time, the direct bidders, folks, um, I believe this 10 broker deal is, meaning the big banks, they have the license with the Federal Reserve um, to bottom line, to be the market makers for the Treasury, okay? Well, actually for the Treasury, not for the Federal Reserve. Bottom line, you can see what I'm talking about. And what that is specifically is that you have huge amounts of companies, of corporations, of trust funds, of family offices that want debt. Um, insurance companies are probably the best, you know, meaning matching up the left-hand side of their balance sheet with the right-hand side of their balance sheet. And uh, these rates are going to go lower. Dow Industrials closed, uh, closed, they're closed. Dow Industrials are down six, NASDAQ's up 49, S&P's are up 12 and a half. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 10. You got the NASDAQ at 45. S&Ps are up 12 and a half. So, uh, Plantier, let's go take a look at this baby. So, you got PLTR. PLTR. Okay, so the low in this equity for the year is $8.90. The high is 45. Uh, you're trading at 24. They, let's see, taking 381 million. They're looking to make three cents. A share August 12th. Oh, August 12th is the numbers when they're coming out. Isn't today August 12th? Yeah, it's after the close then. Okay. Was it after the close or they just come out? One second. Oh, I see. Okay. The third quarter revenue B forecast. Okay. So we take a look at this. So you had, uh, they see third quarter forecast as they see 385 million versus 379. Not bad. Uh, revenue, uh, this is second, the estimate had been 360 million, they did 375. Yeah, they're still losing money. They lost three, seven cents a share. That being said, uh, bottom line is if we take a look at this. Okay, there we go. Come on, baby. Okay, so. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so you take a look at that. Let me put this on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly, yeah, I see what's going on. It's not a bad setup. I mean, you know, you're at 24.91, 27.50 would be the next move. And you can see you'll have to build some calls to get through that just because of how it come down off the high. But uh, it's inside a range. Anything inside 2450 does give it game that it can go uh, topside, man. Let's go to our man Jose in Boston. Uh, in, in Boston, I love it, man. No, he's, he's been down in Florida as long as I have now. <laughs> What's going on, brother? <laughs> Hello. How you doing, man? Hey there, Tom. Uh, you're you're harder, to get on, it's harder to get on your show than the Howard Stern show. Oh, you're yeah, too funny, man. Seriously. <laughs> so. Hey, hey Tom, Mom. Um, I'm sending out boxes of Kleenex for everyone who owns, all the day traders who own Micron Technology this morning. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no, the, well, the, the, the chips, no doubt, Micron's down four and a half dollars. You got, 
Yeah. That's interesting, uh, man. Yeah, look at that. Hey, Tom, um, I'm long Cadence Design and Apple Computer. I called about Apple Computer. If this can get above 150, let the party begin, correct? Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is going to be interesting, man. You know what this is? So Apple today, folks, right? You get two different things that end up happening. You, we know we don't have volume in the marketplace. Yet Apple has volume in here today. So they're buying Apple. And what you have just done is that you just broke this small downtrend that you've been in since the highs of 150. So it's going to go after that high, man. Um, yeah. You know, and well, I, I expect the high, but I'm asking you, uh, I think the high will be made tomorrow morning. Well, it can be easy. Yeah, I mean, you're up two and a half dollars, two dollars eighty-seven cents now. Uh, the high is only one fifty. So, yeah, I mean, uh, either that or just let me just look at something. So you got, yeah, they've already come out with their numbers. It's really, it's really going to be a matter of what what can push that baby uh, higher. And yeah. they got buyers out there today. So what happens when you see buyers that and you know that you don't have volume in the marketplace? That's pretty impressive, actually. You know, because yeah. the contraction has been huge in this marketplace, but they're buying it today, man. There's actually, let me look at something here. Let's look at what well, I'm going to bring up the inside buying and selling just to see in the last couple of days. What happens, folks, is that once these big players are in here, they have to file almost every day once they own so much. There it is. Yeah. Oh, see, this is interesting, man. I, okay. I like that feature of your show. You're going to tell me Fidelity or State Street is in there? Yeah. Um, the thing that's weird now, well, eight, 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 eleven. Well, I got to take a picture of this, okay? I, I'd better, I'd be better at knowing tomorrow, and this is why. So we have fidelity. This is what ends up happening. Let me show you something with how this works, folks. So when you look at this, you can see that the it's showing yesterday. Well, it's showing cumulatively from yesterday that fidelity was selling fourteen point four three. 14 million shares. That isn't in one day, though. What, what ends up happening is that what I have to do is this. What you have to do is I take a picture of this, and then I see tomorrow, if that's the same number, they just keep changing this date. That's what ends up happening. So, oh, yeah. So you compare and contrast with exactly, tomorrow. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Uh, I'm someone, Tom, that loves to hate gold. Oh, I think gold stinks to high heaven. But I may get into it next week because I'm thinking AEM and Newmont got to run to at least 62 on a little bit of a recovery. You know, it's disappointed me forever. So, no, I'm with you. Listen, man, you know, AEM's testing its low from Tuesday today. Um, it has light of volume, it hasn't held price yet. Uh, holding price for AEM would be it's got to close above uh, 57.69. Well, no, I, I guess we're above it. Yeah, we are. We're at 57.78. You know, I think tomorrow we're going to learn quite a bit because yeah. what the danger is in gold um, is that the dollar still wants to go higher. It hasn't been able to do it yet. Uh, the way that the equities have traded out, it looks to me like, yeah, we have a bottom. That being said, what is dangerous, you know, is that when you have two gaps down, it's like, oh, man, is it going to be to do a third gap down? So, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, look, it's, it's the Goldilocks scenario. Gold has never had this good uh, of circumstances surrounding it, and it's disappointing that it's not at 8,000 where it should be. Yeah. No, there's no doubt, man. There's yeah. No doubt. Cooking, brother. Have a great one, good man. Deal. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go take a look at a few of these because uh, we're going to be able to see out here today. And this is good. I need this for the volumes as we went yesterday because what you want to see in the XAU and the HUI that you had some juice into them. And let's see. So you're up at 25 million. Yeah, down on 25 million. That doesn't that doesn't tell us anything. That's in the XAU. If we take a look at the HUI. And what we're doing is we're trying to we're trying to decipher okay how we went up versus went down. We went up with 19 million. You're down with 23. Now we're testing that today, so that looks like it's going to test with lighter volume. What we did do is that you had Royal Gold come out with their numbers last night, as did uh, Franco Nevada. Royal Gold's down two dollars, and this made money. Okay, 
Franco Nevada, let's see what Franco Nevada is doing. Franco Nevada is, and these are both streamers. Franco Nevada is down 77 cents. Franco Nevada is definitely in a better situation than Royal Gold is. Uh, you know, bottom line is that uh, Franco Nevada, as well as Royal Gold, they both made a lot of money. Uh, let's see if we got that. You got, yeah, it'll take me a few more seconds to get those numbers, but uh, it was just the opposite with Pan American Silver. They, their numbers weren't great, but yet yesterday that thing went up uh, a point and a half. Today, you're only back 65 cents with light volume. That wants higher price. Pan American Silver's trading 25.88 and wants to go to 29, so. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8:30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 11, NASDAQ's up 48, S&P's up 13. Let's go take a look at Newmont. And this is a great, great question and statement, actually. Uh, and what it is, is that uh, is Newmont ready to jump the creek into a lower Price. So jump in the creek gets pretty intense, folks, okay? It's a Wyckoff term, and what it means is that you basically gap lower. Uh, I would say no to Newmont, and this is why. So what you have is this. Your, your low in Newmont is $57.96. We did that on Tuesday with 7.7 .7 million shares, and you're only down there with 2.9 million now. What happens when you jump the creek is that you 
uh, get an expansion of volume or at least the same amount of volume as you're pushing into the swing. That's what it comes down to. Now, the second part of this is pretty cool, I think, okay? And this is what it is. The, 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 the target that's asking this question, I know, not only knows the market, but I, he's also into the uh, gold market. All of us in the gold market right now uh, are very nervous folks, okay? And that's what you want <laughs> um, for those. That, that's how it works. Trust me, it's like vicious, man. I mean, it, it's, you need a stomach of steel, um, you know, and what I've seen more than anything, including myself, we're all nervous, man, uh, and that's good. That's what it comes down, and we should be nervous, because the bottom line is that the way gold has come down, uh, in the aspect of the dollar really not moving that much and markets at all-time highs, you know, because normally what you get is that when you have a, a run, well, we haven't run the last two weeks, but you have, when you have a run like we have had, um, most times what you're going to have is that, you know, gold, the, the physical gold has held up pretty good until last, what, Friday. Um, most times you'd have the, the equities also run with it. And we, we didn't have that, you know. So we'll see where this baby's going to shake out. But um, it looks to me, I like how it's setting up. You know, but at the same time, it's like, oh, man, you know, and that's why I brought up the aspect also of, of the deal of, uh, yeah, we could have some problems here. I, my, my take is that we're not going to, but I'm very cognizant of it. Let me tell you that. And it's about this U.S. dollar, man. You know, the U.S. dollar, you know, once again, you know, it's rejected lower price out here. Now, that's that's one side of it. The other side of it is that you had the WASD report come out today. And what happens, the, the WASD report, folks, G-L-C-L-C-O, the, what the WASD report is, is that is the soft commodities, and soft commodities, we're talking coffee, corn, cotton, soybean, sugar, wheat, okay? Bottom line is that they, that come out, there's going to be shortages out here. That's, bottom line, a problem, no doubt. They're all up today. They were, they were up pretty good. They were up higher than this earlier. Con was up 5%. Now it's only up 2 Bottom line is, though, when you see the rest of the commodities that are higher, that is also saying to me, now this was, they're higher because of the report today, and there's basically a shortage. Um, well, there's not going to be as many, well, let me rephrase that. There's not as many plantains as they thought that there was going to be, okay? These things change very quickly. But you can see, if I put up con and I put up the amount of contracts, you can see there's 414,000 contracts. That's bottom line. You have something like that, this is more than likely going to come to the, go to the highs once again. And the way this is set up, this is set up pretty cool, man. Um, you know, you're coming right to the trend line on the way down. You know, and the trend line I'm talking about started at $6.38 a bushel. And... Right now we're 571 a bushel, and I do understand. Like, listen, you know, most of us aren't trading con out there, but when you take a look at commodities, you absolutely want to keep your eye on the commodities because of the aspect that commodities move big time on the U.S. dollar going lower. If we go take a look at the yen, let's take a look at this yen because the yen, bottom line, got a sideways move out here 110 so that's not telling us much if we go to the Nikkei because the, the Nikkei cannot stand a strong yen well it's gonna be interesting so the Nikkei gave it up on price last night let's just see if she had light volume what she had yeah she had lighter volume so the Nikkei still wants yeah the Nikkei wants to go back down to uh, 27,272 you're 28,000 right now that's 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 a nice setup meaning that the Nikkei wants to go lower, that is bringing the probability that the yen wants to go lower. But when the yen goes lower, folks, just to understand, that means a stronger yen. And the gold market loves a stronger yen. We're going to take a look at the euro. You're going to see the, here you are. the euro right now. This, be, this is against the U.S. dollar. That's just hanging at lows. That's not telling us much. The pound. So the pound is 
Pound's been laying at 138. It seems like every time, well, yeah, the pound can go a little bit lower, actually. This will be interesting tomorrow, so we'll see how this baby shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today. You got, uh, let's see, AMC's up at buck 64. That's saving itself once again, man. A here, let's just, I'm going to bring AMC. If it's, I think AMC is going to really get to the situation that people are going to lose some really a lot of money, man. Um, you know, I, and I, I totally understand, you know, you get the meme stock. The bottom line, the equity went up to 72. We're not talking a fundamental deal here. We're talking strictly, you know, how many folks can, can they get buying it on the same day to run that equity? You're still, you're trading, you, you have a 16.78% shot position, you know, the, in, in, in any, in, not in any other market, because we're, we're, the market that we're in right now, folks, okay, you know, has, has to do with uh, technically how many people can you get on board with you uh, buying and or selling an equity. Um, AMC, um, you know, you start getting below $30, and then, to me, is big, big trouble there. You got, uh, let's see, Moderna, Moderna, Moderna is up 8.5%, uh, oh, no, $8.90 rather. You get American Airlines down 86 cents. Let's go take a look at American. I'm curious as to what some of these airlines are doing right now. So, Okay, so you still get a consolidation on the airlines. This has a high volume low, though, at $18.38. You're at $20.38, right? It's 36 cents right now. Uh, they, next time they come out with numbers is October 22nd. They're going to be looking to do $9.4 billion, and it's, they're going to lose $0.68. Cents. The, well, American Airlines doesn't see themselves making any money until the second quarter of two, 2022. LUV. Let's go see what Southwest is looking at. So Southwest is trading 5091. They're looking, they're October 22nd, they're coming out with numbers. They're looking to do 4.8 million. And oh, this is interesting. They're, Southwest is looking to make a, a profit on the fourth quarter. Not the one coming up, but the fourth quarter. They're looking to make a profit. We'll see. They have to basically come out and uh, say something different. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up 50. Uh, no, Dow up 5. NASDAQ up 52. S&P's up 13 and a half. It's all green out here now, folks. Let's go to our man Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, what's going on, brother? I'm doing great, Tom. How are you? Good, man. Good. So. I would like, I would like a professional opinion on <clears throat> just if you could take a look at um, AU, Anglo Gold, and then Barrett Gold, G-O-L-D, and just, if you could only buy one of the two, which would you choose? And to me, if I'm looking at uh, Barrett, it seems like it's a stronger company fundamentally. I'm not that sure about the properties. That's more the kind of stuff you might know about. So that's, that's I'm hoping you can take a look at the two. I would say that Barrick is a fundamentally stronger company. Um, now, this is what you have. Now, that being said, okay, so check this out. I happen to own both of these, okay? So I know them both pretty well. I, I've interviewed the CEO uh, of Barrick quite a few times because he was, used to be the CEO of Rango Resources, okay? And the thing that's weird about basically both of them is they, they both haven't acted good at all. Zero, okay? So lows 18 at Barrick, the highs 31. You're trading out at uh, $20.31. Um, you know, yeah, it's rejecting lower price out here today. Okay, so that's Barrick. Okay, if we go over and we take a look at Ashante, okay, Anglo Go Ashante, uh, the lows 15, the highs 30. You're trading out at 14 at 15.45. Now, what's going on with Ashante is that they haven't had a CEO in over a year. The, the CFO has been running the company. Well, they have a CEO that's starting on September 1st. And this, the CEO was the CEO of Valley, which is a huge, you know, commodity com company. So the bottom line, I think they get the right choice. That being said, this gap down that they did, what happened is that when the CFO came, they only, what happens, folks, is that these, this is a, uh, well, it used to be a South African company. Now they got rid of all their Mines in South Africa, okay, not all their mines in South Africa, but the mines that were no good in South Africa, and they only come out twice a year with their numbers, and what they did when they came out, Brent, and they, this gap down, is that they said, hey, listen, man, we don't think one of our big mines are going to get open for a long time, and now here's the kicker with both of them. With both of them, the plus is that they do business in West Africa. So West Africa, folks, has the least, well, has the yeah, least expensive gold in the whole world. All in, meaning sustainable cost in West Africa, you know, you can almost talk $270, $280 an ounce, whereas the average all in, and, and that's applicable also with, once they put the rest of their gold in there, normally is about $1,000 to $1,100. Okay, so that's the plus part of it. The minus part of it is in both Barrick as well as Ashante, okay, is that, so picture with gold, with gold you have the political risk, you have the ore risk, 
and then the bottom line, can you get out of the country? Oh, well, then you have the price risk, okay? In both cases, they are basically, and this goes on, on a continual basis, they have conflicts with a couple of the countries, and a couple of the countries are basically holding up the amount of cash that they can get. Not that they can get. They've already sold the gold, but the bottom line is that the country itself is holding like two or three hundred million dollars of their funds in both cases. So the real question is, are they going to get the money? My take is they will get the money. I've seen this happen a dozen times, okay? But as to what one I'd buy, I have more faith in Barrick Gold uh, than, than I do in um, Ashanti. The, the difference is, Brent, is that I like the idea that, um, that Ashanti gapped down because most times when a new CEO is coming in, they're going to throw the kitchen table out. I think that's what they did. Do you know what I'm saying on the numbers? So, Okay. Yeah, yeah that makes kind of, sense. We'll kind of see where it shakes out. But they, they both are very large companies. I mean, when you take a look at it, uh, I think uh, Anglo Ashanti is the third largest in the world. So you have, you have Newmont, you have Barrick, and then Anglo Ashanti. If, so Anglo Ashanti takes in, let's see, $4.2 billion. And Barrick takes in... No, a lot more. Twelve point two billion, and Newmont's got to be over twelve billion. Then, but I believe Newmont's the biggest. Yeah, there it is. So Newmont. So yeah, the, so Newmont takes in thirteen point one billion. Barrick takes in twelve billion. And then the third. See, that's pretty inter intriguing, actually. So the third one. That's pretty dramatic. I mean, you go down big time, but it's still a lot of money. That's that's the bottom line, four point two billion. But. I just had two other questions. Do you happen to know? <clears throat> excuse me, on um, Anglo is that when I look at the dividend, it looked like it was more like maybe a, a bi yearly or yearly. It didn't look like it was a quarterly dividend. Do you happen to know about that? It is a yearly dividend. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, and the dividend, okay. I believe it's going to be what eight cents this time. I think. I think it's eight cents. Um, so it's a 0.76. Of the price right now, I think it's going to be an eight cent dividend, which, you know, it's not bad, better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then my last question would be, and I think it might be true on both of them, but it looks like to me there's the potential, at least on, uh, you know, Barrett Gold, that there's an ABC pattern there from the. I don't have the chart in front of me right at the moment, but I want to say that there's a May high. Then it come down, you'd have your B point was probably like in June or something, and it comes up to C point. Not sure all the exact you know time frames, but it broke that swing point. I thought it was volume, but if you could look at that, it it broke it, but like Barrick broke it with twenty nine million versus the B point had uh, thirty seven million. So oh, okay, and yeah, then they, really they both are going into the strength from February, you know, um, which is positive. Well, when I say which is positive, is the positive in the context of the, at least they're going to something that had some volume. Like Barrick is going, uh, I actually went into uh, 32 million with 26, and then today you're getting a test right here with 10. You know, so what we have out here today, man, I mean, what you have out here today, you, uh, you are testing those lows, you're testing them with light volume, you're coming into a Friday, that's going to be the danger. There's no two ways about this, do you know what I'm saying? You get the PPI at 8.30 in the morning out here. That's going to move the market. It's going to move the gold market. Let's put it that way. Um, my take it's, is that... It's going to be interesting. I'm going to sit tight myself and yeah. see what happens. Well, I'm all in. <laughs> 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 but guess what? Well, you're definitely, you're definitely what else is new? than I am, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Have a, have a great right, one, man. So have a much, safe one. Tom, I really appreciate it. And thanks for having information about the... Absolutely. CEO for uh, Anglo, that's helpful. It's yeah, okay. th thanks for the call, man. You have a great one and have a safe one. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 13. NASDAQ is up 46. S&Ps are up 12 and a half. And, uh, hey, this, we'll see what... Oh, I got to show you something really cool, man. As soon as we come back, I want to show you something with uh, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin was at Confluence, folks. Bitcoin had done a 50% retracement from the high. It done a 0.618 retracement from the second high, and you're right there. And that's where it turns. Pretty cool. Stay right there. I'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 6, Nasdaq's up 54, S&P's are up 15. Here, I want to show you this, folks, uh, also on Bitcoin. So, the this is, what we're going to set up is confluence. And what confluence is, folks, is that when you take a... 0.618 retracement off of one trend. You take a 0 0.50 off a different trend, or the same same type of trend, or a 0.382, and they get close. That's what it comes down to. So I have Bitcoin up here. I just want to show you something, okay? Because this is pretty cool, man. Because it's really, I do not trade Bitcoin, by the way, folks, okay? But I'm always tempted, I was really tempted once I've looked at this right now, but I, I don't I don't do it. So you can see from the highs that were, there was the last highs that was set up here at 64,000 to where we just went to the high of two days ago of yesterday, which is 46,768. That was a 50% retracement. Okay, that's that's the bottom line there, from the highs to to the lows. Okay, that's how you do confluence. Uh, that's fib numbers. Now, when I take the second one, what you're going to see, and that was from the last trend, we the. The 0.618 would have been uh, 42, let's see, 40, yeah, it would have been 46, 768, uh, 40, well, it'd be, it would have been 47,000. The bottom line, when you're looking at both of these lines, when they get this close, that's where the turn was, that's a, that's a decent indication they're going to get a pullback. So we'll see where this goes. I mean, 
Uh, I suspect what you're gonna with the, what it's gonna try to do is get into the forty thousand level. You break the forty, and then you got game in a big way. Now, something to, to understand though is that when you do a point six one eight retracement, what you that is a strong retracement move, and most times you will not break out the bottom, which in this case is twenty eight thousand. That's how that's how that works. Okay, just to so say you understand uh, how that works. So. Pretty wild uh, what Bitcoin's done. There's no doubt about that. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need, folks, is right inside you. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to go to YouTube. Tommy kicks us off 9 a.m. in the morning. Great show, folks. Start your show. Start your day off 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.